I don't have a secret and it's not my magic, but I think there is magic here and magic happens here. And I think it's the combination of students who are so inspired and committed to learning and they come from everywhere, all over the world, and they learn from each other and we learn from them and they learn from us. So it's an atmosphere and a community, a living in community that inspires us, I think, to be open to learning that is more than the ordinary. I also think there's a magic in this landscape that we inhabit here, that we inhabit this landscape of magnificent mountains and forests and it also inhabits us in a way that makes us curious and also held in this valley. The Sasve sometimes translated the valley of the fairies. So the magic of the landscape, the magic of the people that come from everywhere to learn, teachers and students together, the magic of living in community where people bring a lot of different cultures and languages that really make us think about how we think, how language shapes our thinking. All of that is tremendously exciting. So I like the word magic and it can't quite be defined. And I like the word mystery or mysterious because I think we make art in a different way than, than any other field. We make art to ask questions and find surprises, to find beauty, but beauty not always pretty, beauty that um, enlivens us, whether it's dark or light, because it's honest. And that is a kind of magic, art, art making in all its forms, poetry, music, visual art, enactment, all of that as a way to um, open questions, open our thinking, find surprises.